In the episode number 20 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new Be Quiet line of liquid CPU coolers, the Nvidia GeForce Now service prices increasing, MSI talking about further increase in the graphics card pricing, and the Arctic Freezer 2 CPU coolers get their warranty increased to 6 years. We start with Be Quiet and their new all-in-one liquid CPU cooler series, the Silent Loop 2. The German company has announced today the Silent Loop 2 series of CPU coolers. These are not replacing the Be Quiet Pure Loop series of all-in-one liquid CPU coolers, but are in fact a different product with different features. The Silent Loop 2 series includes coolers with the usual radiator dimensions, starting with 120mm, 240, 280 and finally 360mm. These CPU coolers use a 3-chamber design and added insulation for the pump. This is done to reduce the amount of vibrations and thus the noise generated by the movement of the pump itself. The coolers also use the Big Quiet Silent Wings 3 high-speed fans, either in a 120mm or a 140mm dimensions. These fans are fully PWM compatible and use a fluid dynamic bearing system with a 6-pole motor and airflow optimized fan impellers. Just like the Be Quiet Pure Loop series, the Silent Loop 2 is easily serviceable. In fact, Be Quiet includes a bottle of coolant to refill the cooler after a long usage. If the cooler can be refilled, this means that it can also have its air removed with ease, a great thing especially for this type of closed loop CPU coolers. The Silent Loop 2 coolers will be available for purchase starting April the 6th and the recommended pricing are 99 US dollars or euros for the 120mm variant, 129.90 US dollars or euros for the 240 variant, 139.90 US dollars or euros for the 280 variant and 159.90 US dollars or euros for the 360mm cooler. Also, there's one little thing to note. Uh, the Silent Loop 2 coolers will not be available in the US region, at least for now. More than likely, thanks to the Acetec patent thing that has been going on for some time. And now we have Nvidia news and what is basically Nvidia just ruining any profits they could have gotten. The GeForce Now service, formerly known as Nvidia Grid for the Nvidia Shield device, has been on the market for roughly two years now. This service allows you to play your favorite video games on the fly while using Nvidia servers to render and host and run the game for you. Initially, the GeForce Now service was available in two membership tiers, free and the founder's plan which was available for US$4.99 per month. However, now Nvidia has decided to remove the free and founder's plan and instead replace them with the priority membership plan, which is priced at US$9.99 or euros per month or US$99.90 per year. Users that were already part of the Founders Membership Plan will maintain their status for US$4.99 per month. However, this plan, the Founders Plan, is not available anymore for new customers. This is pretty much one extra reason for many users to just drop GeForce Now as a service and move on to something else, such as, I don't know, either play on their own systems or just play on their own systems. The issues with GeForce Now was that even with a good internet connection, the system would show signs of lag or quality degradation, which is an issue when you're paying for a service that promises to offer the best possible gaming experience even better than a console or your own gaming system. And more bad news on the graphics card land, as according to a DigiTimes article and report, MSI is set to increase the graphics card pricing even more in the near future, as the supply of graphics cards remains limited throughout 2021. According to a company representative who spoke at an investors conference in March, the company is expected to increase the prices for graphics cards and even motherboards. The company states that this is due to poor logistics thanks to the current social climate around the world and also thanks to delayed marine shipment schedules and increasing transportation expenses which are passed down to the end product and thus to the customer. It is also safe to assume that the shortages of important components used in the manufacturing process of products also had an impact in the sudden spike of prices across the board, for graphics cards especially. Ignoring MSI for a second, this is also a good showcase of supply and demand and what happens when the demand outweighs the supply. Most people saw the prices increasing and quickly jumped on any graphics cards that they found available. Thus, the demand increased dramatically overnight and thus, the stocks dried up in a matter of days if not hours, which also increases the prices of all retailers. 
And finally, Arctic has just announced that the company will triple the warranty for all Freezer 2 coolers. This means that all Arctic Freezer 2 CPU coolers have a 6 year warranty instead of the older 2 year warranty period. This shows the confidence the company has in these CPU coolers and it is not surprising as these CPU coolers have been very well received by the market especially after the reviews went online. In fact, the Arctic Freezer 2 is regarded as one of the best no-RGB liquid closed loop CPU cooler on the market right now, only bested by either custom systems or CPU coolers that are basic custom loops sold as pre-made units. And this is the end of the episode number 20 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.